Hi everybody, I'm Jim, and in this video, we'll walk you through the installation process for a Dreamline Unidor X shower door with a 6-inch hinge panel. Larger models include a 24-inch hinge panel, an inline buttress panel, or even an inline panel and a 90-degree return panel for an enclosure model. A variety of hardware finishes are available too. Today, we're installing the 58 to 58 and a half inch version of the Unidor X on a single threshold. It consists of a fixed hinge panel, a swinging glass door, and a fixed inline panel. Here are some important facts about this model. The Unidor X is a frameless swing shower door. The door is reversible depending on your layout. The Unidor X does not require solid wood reinforcement in the wall. Wall anchors can also be used. Let's review a few key points before we unpack the door and start the installation. This shower door offers a quarter inch of out of plumb adjustment on the hinge panel side and half an inch of out of plumb or overall width adjustment for the inline panel if included. Be sure the threshold is level from wall to wall and pitched slightly inward. If not, the installation cannot proceed. You will also need to drill into at least one wall, depending on the model, and the threshold for this installation. Some shower enclosures include a hollow space between the outer surface and the wall, preventing the proper installation of this door. Be sure the surfaces are solid and will be able to support the weight of the door. Irregular or uneven surfaces rounded radius bottom corners, or the improper angle of sidewalls can result in serious problems for your installation. If you run into any issues during these steps, please contact our customer support team by phone or live chat for assistance. Please review the following safety reminders before we begin the installation of the Unidor X shower door by Dreamline. Once you've decided the door can be successfully installed in the opening, remove and check all parts from the boxes. The 6-inch hinge panel includes a hinge panel glass bracket that helps secure the hinge panel glass. It is essential that the hinge panel be installed correctly to support the weight of the door glass. ClearMax is Dreamline's exclusive protective glass coating. A ClearMax sticker indicates a treated glass surface and should face the inside of the shower. Do not remove the sticker prior to installation. The glass may be treated on both sides or only on one side, depending on requirements for reversing the glass. Do a visual check of the glass for any chips or damage to the edges and thoroughly read the installation manual. Decide which wall of the shower the hinge panel and door will be installed on and check that wall for plumb. If the wall is more than a quarter inch out of plumb, the installation cannot proceed. Keep in mind that an inline panel, if included, will allow up to half an inch of out of plumb adjustment on that side. If necessary, consider installing the hinge panel and door on the other side of the shower as long as it is no more than a quarter inch out of plumb. The position of the shower head and shower controls may help determine which direction the door gets installed in. Mark a straight line on the threshold parallel to the front edge and then a plumb line up the wall to indicate the front outside edge of the U-channel or channels. Keep in mind that the threshold depth requirement for this door is 5 eighths of an inch. Look for a sticker indicating which end of the panel glass is the top. The top hinge cutout is about an inch closer to the edge of the glass than the bottom cutout. Both sides have a clear max sticker for reversibility. Place 2 inch PVC glass spacers over the screw heads in the bottom U-channel, then dry fit the hinge panel glass using both U-channels with the bottom U-channel under the vertical U-channel. Adjust the panel for any out of plumb conditions. Mark a cut line on the bottom U-channel at the glass edge. Cut the bottom U-channel at that mark. Then measure and cut the vertical U channel to 69 and 7 16 inches. 
Place the U-channels back on the lines made on the wall and threshold. Double check the vertical U-channel for plumb and mark the holes for drilling. Be sure one end of the bottom U-channel meets the wall and is under the vertical U-channel. The hinge panel glass bracket is installed on top of the vertical U-channel. Be sure the opening in the bracket is aligned with the vertical U-channel, that the set screws face inside the shower and mark the hole for drilling through the bracket. If wood blocking exists in the wall, which is preferred, drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole through the finished wall material and into the wood. If using anchors, drill 5 16 inch holes in the wall and install the anchors. For the threshold, drill 1 8 inch holes into an acrylic or fiberglass base, drill 1 8 inch pilot holes for a tile over wood base, or a 5 16 inch hole for an anchor if using a prefabricated shower curb. For questions about drilling into a cast iron, steel, or porcelain tub, contact the tub manufacturer or a contractor with experience in this area. Place a mark at the top and bottom of the hinge panel glass half an inch from the outside edge. This indicates the point of maximum adjustment for the panel glass in the vertical U-channel. Apply silicone in the screw holes and to the backs of the U-channels and the hinge panel glass bracket. Install both U-channels and the hinge panel glass bracket using the provided screws. Place 2-inch sections of the PVC glass spacers in the bottom U-channel over the screw heads to protect the bottom edge of the glass. Then, place the hinge panel glass back in the U-channels and check the panel for level and plumb. Be sure the top of the glass still faces up. When adjusting for out of plumb up to a quarter inch, mark the glass with tape to indicate the final correct position of the glass at the U-channels, then remove the panel glass. Apply a quarter inch bead of quick setting silicone inside both U-channels and reset the glass up to the tape placed earlier. Do not apply silicone inside the hinge panel glass bracket. Use an Allen wrench to tighten the rubber tipped set screws on the hinge panel glass bracket once the panel is in its final position. Allow the silicone to set up per the manufacturer's instructions before the next step. Be sure the hinge panel is secure in the U-channel before proceeding. Remove the face plates from the hinges and use only the thicker 2mm gaskets. Attach the solid portion of the glass to glass hinges to the hinge panel glass centered in the opening with the bolts facing inside the shower. A small dab of adhesive putty applied to the ends of the gaskets will keep them from shifting. Do not use silicone. Align the edges of the hinges so they are square and flush with the glass edge. As an option, cut quarter inch squares from the one millimeter gaskets and use them to fill any gaps between the hinge body and the glass cutout. Apply a medium strength thread lock to the hinge screws and secure them using a screw gun and a four millimeter hex bit. Use medium to high torque and set the bolts as tightly as possible. Don't worry about damaging the glass and snap in the decorative caps. Leave the face plates off the door side of both hinges. Plastic 5 8 inch spacers are attached to the top and bottom of the door glass to set the door at the correct height and to protect the glass edges. Use a glass suction cup and a helper to set the door glass with the spacers on the threshold in line with the hinge panel glass. The spacers on top of the glass can now be removed. Use a helper and a glass suction cup to hang the door glass on both hinges and check the door for level and plumb. The vertical edge of the glass should be flush with the inside edges of both hinges. Check that the reveal between the door and the hinge panel is even from top to bottom and that the tops of the door and panel line up evenly. As an option, cut quarter inch squares from the one millimeter gaskets and use them to fill any gaps between the hinge body and the glass cutout once the glass is adjusted. Install the two millimeter gaskets and reinstall the plates on the hinges. Use a medium strength thread lock, which is not included, on the hinge screws and tighten them using a screw gun with a 4mm hex bit. Make sure the hinge bolts are as tight as possible. Leave the 5 8 inch spacers beneath the door glass and do not operate the door for at least 30 minutes, allowing the silicone in the U-channels to set up. 
Install the handle on the door glass, making sure the vinyl gaskets are present between metal and glass. Never lift the glass using the handle. Cut the bottom sweep vinyl, if needed, to the width of the door glass and press it onto the bottom of the door with the deflector strip facing inward. Open the door to install the hinge vinyls on the back of the door glass. Take three measurements, from the top of the door glass to the horizontal middle of the top hinge, between the inner portion of both hinges, and from the threshold to the horizontal middle of the bottom hinge. Cut your vinyl to these three lengths. Notch the ends as shown here so the vinyls drop in behind the hinge body. Notch the bottom hinge vinyl at both ends so it will fit around the bottom sweep vinyl. If you have a single door model, the strike vinyl will be adhered to the wall with high bond tape. See the manual for instructions. Use a razor knife to cut off the inner aspect of the sweep vinyl on the strike side of the door. Mark it where it meets the strike vinyl, then notch it so the door glass closes evenly against the strike vinyl. If there is a full inline panel in addition to the hinge panel and door glass, slide the bottom U-channel under the door glass and use a square to bring the door to 90 degrees from the wall, parallel to the front edge of the threshold. Slide the U-channel to the far wall and mark the outside edge of the U-channel on the threshold. Measure out 3 16 of an inch from the vertical edge of the door glass and mark the bottom U-channel. Place a mark at the top and bottom of the panel glass, half an inch from the outside edge. This indicates the point of maximum adjustment for the panel glass in the vertical U-channel. Temporarily install the strike vinyl on the panel glass with the fin on the inside. It will be notched and moved down around the bottom U-channel later. Use a helper to place the vertical U-channel on the panel glass. Use a glass suction cup to carefully place the panel glass in the bottom U-channel. Make sure to avoid any glass-to-glass -glass contact, which could result in glass failure. The vertical U-channel sits on top of the bottom U-channel. Hold the U-channels in place and adjust the panel glass until it meets the mark made earlier on the bottom U-channel, 3 16 of an inch from the door glass. The maximum adjustment for shifting the panel glass out of the vertical U-channel is half an inch. Do not move the panel glass out past the mark made on the glass. Carefully close the door against the strike vinyl. Be sure the top edges of the panel glass and the door glass are even. Mark the vertical U-channel at the top edge of the glass to get the cut line. Line the panel glass up so the strike vinyl meets the door glass evenly from top to bottom. Hold it in that position and mark the outside edge of the vertical wall profile on the wall. It is more important that there is a tight seal between the door and the vinyl than for the panel glass to be perfectly plumb. Carefully remove the panel glass, remove the U-channels, and safely set the panel aside. Cut both U-channels at the marks made and file off any burrs. Place both U-channels on the marks made earlier and mark the holes for drilling. If a stud is present, drill 3 16 inch holes up to the stud only and pilot the stud using a 1 8 inch bit. If no stud is present, drill a 5 16 inch hole and install wall anchors. Drill 1 8 inch holes for a fiberglass base. For a composite base, drill 5 16 inch holes and install wall anchors. Apply silicone in the screw holes and to the backs of both U-channels and use the included countersunk screws to secure them to the wall and to the threshold. Make sure the screws are fully countersunk in the U-channels. Insert the PVC spacer strips over the screws in the bottom U-channel and apply a quarter inch bead of silicone in both U-channels. Carefully place the inline panel back in its adjusted position in both U-channels. It should also be flush with the cut edge of the bottom U-channel. Next, reinstall the strike vinyl, marking and notching it by trimming just the sides so it fits around the bottom U-channel. From inside the shower, close the door and mark the sweep where it meets the strike vinyl. Notch only the inner aspect of the sweep so it fits neatly around the strike vinyl for a tighter seal. 
Apply a good quality, mildew resistant clear silicone to the entire interior perimeter of the panel glass. A dab of silicone at the open ends of the U-channels is also advised. Allow 24 hours for the silicone to cure before the shower is used.